Spiderman has been quoted saying that cheating can actually be a life preserver for marriage. Most Americans disagree, however. According to a Gallup poll, 91% of those surveyed deemed it morally wrong. Also, who's taking marriage advice from Noel Biederman? What a creepy greenhead. <laughs> How can you prevent a marriage meltdown where your spouse ends up on a site like Ashley Madison? We actually have someone with real advice, and that's Dr. Kimberly Moffat. She's a relationship therapist, and she joins us live on the curvy couch to tell us how to keep your marriage strong. Stay off Ashley Madison. <laughs> well, well, number one, stay off Ashley Madison. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. No, I think the first point, realistically, is you never should neglect your marriage. And I think cheating is actually a symptom of something that's much bigger than just itself. Um, so the healthiest couples are the ones that really put that long-term effort into their relationship. They don't see walking down the aisle as the end result. They treat it like a plant. They water it. They look after it for the long term. What does effort mean? You know, something that's a really great way to make an effort is to actually schedule time and put it away for your relationship. Something like a date night is really simple, easy way. And a lot of people think that date nights are just for fun, but I think that they're also a way to connect with your partner on an emotional, spiritual level, um, but also to set goals with your partner. I think that having really great goals, like going on um, a trip around the world or planning your retirement together, can actually help both of you get excited about your future and connect in that way. So I think that's, that's the kind advice. of that's the kind of nurturing and watering yeah. I mean. Um, some research we have: 88% of women said they cared more about emotional infidelity rather than physical infidelity. So we really ought to talk about fidelity with our partners, right? What does it mean? Some people even think the flirting is cheating. Absolutely. I think that this whole incident with Ashley Madison is kind of like a wake-up call for Americans to really take stock of their relationships and whether your partner was on the site or not or whether you are on the site or not it's time to talk to your partner today about what fidelity means to you and for some people she, uh, flirting with a stranger might be considered even more hurtful than an actual physical affair so you need to hmm. define those things in your relationship and decide what are your strict boundaries and the more strict and less ambiguous they are the less likely you are to run into problems in the marriage so you say look out for signs of infidelity what would those be well I think that actually knowing some of the early signs of infidelity, if you catch them early enough, it can actually be enough to prevent an affair from happening in the first yeah. place. Because as we know, a lot of affairs are gradual. They happen over time with one thing kind of leading to right, another. Sure. So if you notice that your partner is being, number one, very protective over their phone, locking it, turning it away from you, maybe getting defensive over it. Number two, um, starting to take on new grooming habits. So change, you know, getting new clothes, working so taking out. Better care of yourself. Taking better care of hey, themselves. Why are you suddenly dropping 20 pounds? Exactly, because you're like, oh, they never used to do <laughs> that with me. Right. Relaxing. Multiple phones, a bad sign. Yeah, <laughs> you know, a private <laughs> phone. And phones, a... not a good idea. Exactly. Um, finally, you know, th with these headlines from Ashley Madison, it probably is making some some spouses be suspecting when they shouldn't even be, and that's going to exactly. cause problems that's a great too. Point. You, you know, know, why are you turning your phone over? Well, maybe it's because I don't want you to see what my mom is texting me, not because I have a girlfriend on the side. Absolutely. I think there's no need to be paranoid, but the truth is, if you do feel compelled to check that site to see if your partner's name is there, I think it says something about your relationship and so now is a great time to just check in with your partner say how are we doing where's our relationship at and maybe you might even prevent something like that from happening these were all fantastic tips dr yeah, kimberly moffitt great stuff thank really you so stuff. much thanks doc